And I want to take a couple of minutes and share with you an exciting announcement and show you a quick demo of paginated reports in the Power BI service. This is way cool. Patrick LeBlanc uh, announced this uh, at the past summit in the keynote. Patrick's a longtime friend of the family here at Pragmatic Works. We go way back. And uh, with all of his energy and personality, Patrick made this announcement at past summit. Uh, paginated reports, right? Reporting services, it has been a journey. We have been working with reporting services for over a decade. The first time I saw reporting services was from a command line. Just saying, right? you guys may not remember that. And then Microsoft integrated into the product, which made it better. Then they kind of went quiet on us till 2008 or two. They introduced smart lines and data bars. Then they went really quiet. And they came back. They came back strong. They made it HTML5. They pulled it out of the product, and now we have Power BI Report Server. And now it's a standalone thing. But wait, we got more, more, right? We have something better. We have paginated reports that's gonna be in the Power BI service. And if you go check the blog out, we're announcing a public preview today, so go check it out. If you haven't, I know you guys probably wanna leave right now and go do it, I'll wait. All right, to get started with this, all you, need, all you need is your RDL. You just need the RDL file. Now, for some of you people, you may be going, why go to the cloud, Microsoft? If you wanna stay in the 90s, right? If you wanna stay on premises, you wanna stay back in the 90s, please, you know, stay old school. But if you wanna be like me, modern up, go to the cloud. I mean, the cloud is the best thing in the world, right? Now, you can watch the whole thing. Uh, just go to the past.org site. You can watch the keynotes for free. Um, let me just share with you um, this announcement before I show you how it works. So um, here you can see uh, the announcement of the public preview of paginated reports. This is on the uh, Power BI blog site, which uh, is easy to find if you go to powerbi.com. Chris Finlan is the uh, program manager who actually owns paginated reports. He also uh, made this post on his personal blog post, christopherfinlan.com, and he talks about how you can actually try out paginated reports without having the, the more expensive premium capacity Power BI tenant. And uh, so I'm going to just show you how this works. One of the reasons that I'm really excited about this feature is that um, I've been using reporting services since its inception, way back in 2003, when it was uh, released for SQL Server 2000. I I've written six books on reporting services, the, the Rocks Press Professional Series book and the Reporting Services Recipe book that we released back in 2010. And, you know, we haven't really seen a, a lot of new investment in reporting services for a while because Microsoft have been pouring all of their resources into Power BI. And the Power BI ecosystem is pretty cool. Now that reporting services is part of the Power BI effort, and now that we're seeing paginated reports in the Power BI service, whether you plan to use it on-prem or in the service or some hybrid in between, Microsoft are pouring resources back into reporting services, which is way cool. Whether you plan to use this feature or not, I think we're going to see reporting services get some more love and improvement and continued investment from Microsoft. So let's take a quick look at how it works. Here I have a premium capacity Power BI tenant, and I've created a workspace. I've enabled reporting services within my tenant. Now I'm going to go to Report Builder, and here you can see that I've just created a really simple paginated report. Now, rather than uh, setting up a gateway or connecting to an Azure SQL database, one of the, the few um, data sources that are supported right now, I've actually used the new um, Enter Data feature. I'll just show this to you really quick. One of the um, connection types is Enter Data. This was just made available. And once you've created a data source like that, you can, as the name suggests, create a data set by just entering data. And you can see that it actually builds this, uh, this little XML structure when you do that. But here's what it looks like. It just creates this grid. You just type some data. This is awesome for demos, or if you just need to create simple lookup tables to drive on parameters and things like that. Really cool new feature with reporting services. So that's what I've done just to create the sample demo report. So I've saved that as an RDL file. And then I go to my workspace and I'm going to use get data. And then I choose files. I'm going to get data from a file, from a local file. And then I choose that RDL file that I had saved that uploads the file and it shows up as a report 
just like my reporting or my um, Power BI reports would show up and we can run the report and we should see here within my Power BI uh, service you can see my paginated report run I can export it to all of the different uh, export formats that reporting services supports and I can also print it or download the RDL so this is very cool. Now we have reporting services paginated reports within the Power BI service.